Well, more than four months after Missouri voters legalized recreational marijuana use, St. Louis County is considering new restrictions and new taxes. County Executive Sam Page says the county council may ban smoking marijuana in county parks under the county's clean air code. The county is also proposing a 3% marijuana tax. That would be in addition to a 3% state tax and possibly 3% municipal taxes being considered across the county. So $100 worth of marijuana products could end up costing $6 more in parts of St. Louis County compared to, say, the city of St. Louis. John, good or bad ideas? Oh, let them tax it. I mean, they're all taxing. Uh, all of the municipalities and counties around here are, are raising taxes. It's a chance to raise some revenue. As for the parks, Andy, it would seem to me like if you want to get stoned, there's no better place than a county park. <laughs> you got all the trees out there, the little puffy clouds floating around. Uh, this is uh, intrusive government, I think. Well, you walk into a convenience store anywhere, you might get stoned just from the secondhand uh, buzz in the parking lot. Yeah, right. I mean, it seems to be everywhere anyway. Is it time for the county to keep its hands off people's weed? Well, most of the time after arguing with him for 30 minutes, I need to go home and get stoned. Um, <laughs> look, there's nothing wrong with banning it in parks. I mean, we, weed users should be respectful. I mean, it has a terrible smell. It's everywhere in St. Louis. It's legal now. Do it in your home. Do it in a place of private. Why do you have to go out there and do it in a park so kids are going to smell it? Well, after passing the largest income tax cut in state history last year, Missouri lawmakers are now pushing for more. Missouri's massive budget surplus is approaching $7 billion. House Republicans are now pushing new personal income tax cuts that would eventually lower the overall rate to 4.05%. It was at 5.3% at this time last year. Seniors would pay no state tax on their Social Security income. Republicans are also calling for cuts in corporate income tax rates, all tied to future growth. Michael, what's wrong with that? I don't know that there is, you know. The Republicans want to cut taxes, they're cutting taxes. Unfortunately, I think we're on the slippery slope that Kansas was just less than a decade ago where they cut taxes, cut taxes, cut taxes, and guess what? We're unable to provide services and had to go in and raise taxes higher than they were before. I hope the geniuses down in Jefferson City don't do that, but I understand what they're up to, trying to give people their money back, which probably means less services and even worse roads. Well, Democrats say, you know, state workers, even with recent raises, are already the lowest paid in the nation, and teachers are way down there, too. Can we afford to do tax cuts? Yes. We... The state budget has, has doubled in the last five years, 25 to $50 billion a year. They got, they're sitting on a $7 billion surplus. Uh, they're, paying for the, they're paving the roads. They're, they're fixing things. They gave the state workers a raise. Give the taxpayers their money back. Final thoughts are next. Don't go anywhere.